While Miami-Dade County's mayor said on Sunday that she did not know when the demolition of the still-standing portion of Champlain Tower South would occur, she made clear that the process was key to allowing search and rescue workers to return safely to the site. Our top priority is that the building come down as soon as possible, no matter what time that occurs, and as safely as possible. Bringing down this building in a controlled manner is critical to expanding our scope of the search and rescue effort. Miami-Dade's assistant fire chief estimated on Sunday morning that the demolition could come as soon as Sunday night. An obstacle has arisen, however, in the form of Tropical Storm Elsa, which is expected to bring strong winds and heavy rain to Florida in the coming days, putting on pressure to complete the demolition as soon as possible. Residents in nearby buildings have been told that they don't need to evacuate, but have been warned to stay indoors due to dust from the controlled explosion. Florida's top emergency management official sought to reassure residents about the process on Sunday. This contractor and the subcontractor is internationally known. We picked the best of the best of the three that we had. Uh, we're confident that he is going to be able to bring the, the building down and not interfere with the rest of the site. And within a matter of minutes, as Mayor Cava, uh, Mayor Cava has already uh, pointed out, they will be back on the scene, back into search and rescue. No one has been rescued alive from the site since the first hours after the building collapsed last Thursday.